Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about using the quadratic formula to solve any type of quadratic equation. So, so far you've learned about different ways or different methods to solve quadratic equations, right? Like maybe you learned the, uh, to, to complete the square or to, to solve by factoring or using the square root. Well, this formula, the quadratic formula, is a really famous formula and it's used all the time. The reason why is you can use this to solve any type of quadratic equation. And it's fairly easy to use as long as you're careful. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some problems together and then you have a chance to try some problems on your own and then at the end you can see how you did. So let's just jump right into the first problem. We have uh, x squared plus 11x plus 28 equals zero. So the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure that in order to use the quadratic formula, you wanna make sure the equation is written in standard form. So this one is, so we need to now determine what the a, b, and c value is of the equation. So we really have a one here. So our a value is gonna be one, our b value is the 11, and our c value is the 28. So now that we have our a, b, and c values, it's just a matter of carefully plugging in the values into this equation, or the formula. So x is gonna equal negative b, well, B in this case is 11, so it's going to be negative 11 plus or minus the square root of, now B again is 11, so it's going to be 11 squared minus 4 times A, A is 1, times C, which is 28. And we take this whole thing and we divide it by 2 times A, so A is 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. All right, so x is gonna equal negative 11 plus or minus the square root of, well, 11 squared I know is 121, so 121 minus four times uh, 28 is 112, times one is just 112, so it's gonna be minus 112 divided by two. So now let's work up here a little bit. So we know x is gonna equal negative 11 plus, now this is gonna re reduce down to uh, 121 take away 112 is nine. So the square root of nine divided by two. And that's a nice perfect square, so this is gonna be nice for us. So x is gonna equal negative 11 plus three divided by two. But then x is gonna also equal negative 11 minus three divided by two. So negative 11 uh, plus three is uh, negative eight. Negative eight divided by two is negative four. And here we have negative 11 minus three, which is negative 14. And negative 14 divided by two is negative seven. So negative four and negative seven, those are two solutions. All right, let's turn the page and try the second problem. All right, so here we have uh, x squared plus 8x equals negative 5. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna add 5 to both sides to put it in standard form. So now we end up with x squared plus 8x plus 5 equals zero. And from that we know the a value is gonna be one again. Our b value is gonna be eight and our C value is gonna be positive five. All right, so now let's plug it into the formula. So X is gonna equal negative B. So B is eight, so it's gonna be negative eight plus or minus the square root of, well, B squared, we'll see, eight times eight is 64, minus four times A is one and C is five all over 2a, so two times one is two. So x is gonna equal negative eight plus or minus, we'll see four times five is 20. So 64 take away 20 is 44. So it's gonna be the square root of 44 divided by two, okay? So now here's the deal. 44 is not a nice square number, is it? So I'm gonna change 44, I'm gonna uh, type it into the a calculator, and the square root of 44 ends up being 6.63 if I round. So I'm gonna cross that off and just make that a 
2.63. All right, now this right here will give us the exact answer. So because we're rounding, we're not gonna get the true exact answer, but now we can solve for x. So x is gonna equal negative eight plus positive 6.63 divided by two. And then x is also gonna equal negative eight minus 6.63 divided by two. And when I do negative eight plus 6.63 divided by two, I get an answer of negative 0 0.685. That's one solution. And when I do negative eight minus 6.63 and divided by two, I get negative 7.315. And there's the second answer. All right, so to backtrack, the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure that the equation is written in standard form. Then once you do that, you extract the A, B, and C values, and you plug them into the formula. You have to be really careful, especially the square root part, and then once you do that, you can solve, get the answer for x, um, which are both the solutions. All right, so now that you understand how to use the quadratic formula, why don't you pause the video and try only the first your turn problem now. And then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do this first uh, your turn problem now. So the solution should have been six and negative four. I did the workout for you. So the uh, the A is one, the B value is negative two, and the C value was negative 24. And when I plug it into the formula, uh, you get two plus or minus uh, four minus four times one times negative 24. And this ends up being uh, 100 inside the radical sign. So it's two plus or minus the square root of 100 divided by two. So now it's gonna be two plus or minus 10 because the square root of 100 is 10 divided by two. So when I do two plus 10, that's 12, and 12 divided by two is six. And then two take away 10 is negative eight, and negative eight divided by two gives you a negative four. And there it is. All right, so hopefully you did well with this one. So why don't you pause the video again and try the second your turn problem now. And again, when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, so here's the answer for the final problem. Uh, the solution should have been five and also negative two. So again, I got an A value of one, a B value of negative three, and a C value of negative 10. I plug those values into the quadratic formula, and I got three uh, plus or minus the square root of, that ends up being 49 inside the radical sign, divided by two, and the square root of 49 is seven, so it's uh, plus or minus seven, so it's three plus seven divided by two, and then three minus seven divided by two. So three plus seven is 10, and 10 divided by, divided by two is five, and then three take away seven is negative four, and negative four divided by two is negative two. Okay, and of course, it's always good to check. So if I plug in a five into this equation for x, you'll notice that the left-hand side equals zero. And the same thing can be said if I plug in a negative two in uh, for x, it'll also equal zero. So again, the quadratic uh, formula is really powerful because you can solve any type of equation using uh, this formula where other times you can't use other methods like factoring or completing the square. This always, always, always works.